Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Donkey Kong Land 3 for the Game Boy. And in this episode, we will be going further through the game by taking on Black Ice Blitz. So, what level is this? Oh, it's an on-rails level, meaning that we can't control ourselves. We're going forwards all the time. And now this is where the difficulty starts to ramp up a bit in Donkey Kong Land 3, because you really, really got to see what's coming. And it's kind of hard doing that, you know, on a screen that's so zoomed in because, I, you know, I'm saying that Donkey Kong Land 3 is zoomed in way too much in some areas that it kind of puts you off your gameplay. Now, I know I'm making this look easy, but trust me, this is trial and error. If you make one mistake, you could die. But anyway, collect the stars. So you saw the bonus right there. Um... I didn't have to jump over it because I had to fall into it, so sometimes in these levels, you know, don't jump over everything, always just practice and you'll get it, like I say, trial and error this level. But the reward for clearing the bonus is when you come out of your uh, sledge, you don't need it anymore and the level's a lot easier. Oh, and there's the goal, but hey, there was a barrel that launched me to a enemy here. Now I found out what these enemies are actually called, and guess what they are? coins. <laughs> so they're protecting DK coins, but it's, they're called coins, but spelt with a K instead of a C. <laughs> oh god, they that did really weird with the names, I tell ya. But anyway, this bonus round, it's just get to the token, and if you ask me, the easiest one I've done so far. You barely have to do anything. You don't have to avoid enemies, you don't have to jump over a pit, you just gotta avoid the obstacles and make your way to the goal. But, let's just end this act. So if you can, you know, just go through the level without dying or hurting yourself, it gets done really quick. Because, I mean, it's already been two minutes. But anyway, let's see what's in the sheep shop. Now, I'm gonna do this. You've seen what I've already done before, so every time I get, like, cards, I'm going to cut it here. So, there we go, I've got all the cards, and of course my rewards will be the same thing, which will be... A coin, DK coin, banana, balloon, and clock. And it only took me 58 seconds. Yeah, I didn't do that good this time. However, I will show you this. If you go in, you'll say if you could use five coins to play again. But if you say no, you will say this. Can I tempt you to spend two coins on some useful info? So we're going to try that and see what happens. Miller Instinct. Move away from the right coin. So basically what it is, that's a hint that will take us to the next bonus in the Miller Instinct stage. You can also use a teleporter for 5 coins, but I'm 100% in this game so I'll probably uh, show off the teleporter at a later date I guess. But anyway, onwards to Riverbank Riot. Oh there's a barrel there, so that must mean there's a coin near here. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I really like the names of these guys because, yeah, you know, it's... <laughs> We're collecting coins, and they're called coins anyway. <laughs> so when you say I'm collecting the DK coin, people think, right, you want about the enemy or the actual collectible item, which is the coin. I'm even having a hard time just trying to explain it here. <laughs> oh, God, I've gone insane this episode. But anyway, let's just continue swimming down here. Backtracking all the way. And sure enough, good thing I did, because there is a bonus barrel. Find the token! With two exclamation marks again. I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's just, you know, for emphasis. To make you feel pumped for it, I guess. I don't know, I'm just rambling on here. But there's our 20 second bonus coin. We're collecting quite a lot of them, to be honest. So, we're definitely making good progress in the game. Just collect this coin here. Now, I've noticed this, actually, while going to the sheepy shop, because I have a practice part of this game. I mean, I've got practice, come on. <laughs> I'm not doing this blind, no way. Um, you know the coins we spent on at um, the sheepy shop? Well, that's what we use them. We don't use the bonus coins. Instead, we use the coins that, you know, respawn each time. And Oh, God, I died. <laughs> wow, I haven't really died for a long time in this game. But anyway, I'll cut it here. Okay, we're back. Let's see if I can do this right this time. I was trying to bounce myself all the way up to the top so that I can show you this secret shortcut, which blasts us to a checkpoint as well, which is really useful. 
However, if you're gonna 100% the level and take that route, don't go forward because you may just miss a uh, um, O for the Kong letter. But of course, you know, that's only to get an extra life. But I promised I was gonna show you every location of everything, where the, the, um, the Kong letters, DK coins, bonus barrels, you know, I'm just gonna 100% the game, basically. Oh, and as you can see, we've got another coin right here. Well, no, I'm not on about the enemy. Good grief. This is probably what this episode is like going to be called. Coin. Because you always get mixed up. If I'm talking about the enemy, a DK coin, or just a normal coin. There's three differences now. What the heck? Okay. Anyway, let's just take out this hedgehog. And collect this barrel, which, if you ask me... It's kind of useful, but really on this video it's just for taking out the bees, but you could just jump over the bees and fall down anyway, so it's kind of weird. Now, this bonus round, I would say this. Make sure you have the run button held down, because otherwise it would be really difficult and practically impossible to clear this. Because when you hold down the run button and bounce on enemies, you tend to fly a lot further. And that's one thing you got to do, because even if you're just, I don't know, just one little inch away from the edge of the cliff, you will miss it and you will slip and fall down. And of course, that's not good. So keep that in mind if you get a bit of, if you're struggling with that, because I know as a child I always struggled with that mission for some reason, when clearly all I had to do was just hold down the run button. Yeah, I know, I was quite brainless back then. But still, I was young, you know, I wasn't an expert gamer or anything. Well, I don't really call myself an expert gamer now, to be honest. If anything, I'm not really that good of a gamer at all. But, you know, I'm just doing this LP for fun. But, that is the act done, so let's go on to the next one. Miller Instinct. <laughs> I think I get the reference there. Killer Instinct. Um, is that what they're referencing? I don't know, it sounds like it. But... Now this is where I would say that the bonus coins get a bit harder to find because it's actually helpful that I used the bear because he said, um, go to right from coin um, in Miller Instinct, which is this area. So as you can see, we'll go find the coin, which is here. But first up, I want to take him out, you know, to get the DK coin. So I'm going to go collect the barrel, which is very conveniently here and take out the DK coin. However, you know when he says go right from the DK coin? Let's try that and see what happens. So let's be the parrot, but instead of going all the way up there, I'm gonna go off to the right and... Oh, wouldn't you know it, there's a bonus round. So that's one thing that's useful with the bear. If you don't agree to do, you know, the matching up game, he gives you some helpful info instead. I don't really use it a lot because I just like to figure it out on my own because, you know, I don't really rely on hints or anything in this game. I just like to figure out everything and just remember it by heart. I mean, that is what I've done through most of this Let's Play. No, seriously, I haven't, like, looked up anything online of how to find the coins. This is all just by memory of my childhood. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Right, um... I'm gonna switch to Dixiecon because, really, you don't need the parrot because you could just fly over there. But I don't really need to clear this level again, so I'm just going to fall down. Yeah, I know that was kind of cruel to do to Dixie, but, um, oh well, it's a game, it doesn't matter. But, let's turn into Swarks the Parrot and do the level uh, the way it sh we should do, by going up here and taking out these buzzes. Is it me, though, or is this common? Whenever you're Squawks, practically every everywhere you go, there are buzzes, but when you're like DK or Dixie Kong, there's barely any of them. There's only like, you know, you don't stumble across them in every corner. Because look at this, I've came across like six of them so far. And there's a sneak there for apparent reason. But let's just go get the checkpoint, follow the arrow. I don't know why I got that barrel, because I mean, I've already got another life. Because, you know, when you get hit, you get an extra chance. But when you're Kitty Kong, you turn into Dixie Kong because. Well, Kitty Kong's been wiped out or something, and all that. But, let's just keep flying across here. At the moment, keep going, but... <laughs> At the moment, this is just a catchphrase. Ah, I, it, the arrow does say go up, but I like to do a bit of exploring, so I'm going to go up these little shafts to see where they take me. 
Because as you can see, I found an N letter, so if I just went all the way up, I would have missed that N letter, and I wouldn't have got an extra life. Which isn't really that important, but it's important for me to show you guys, because this is what I promised you. So let's see if anything's down here. Nope. Okay, it appears to be clear, so let's just go all the way up here. But, let's take... <laughs> I keep saying but. but. There's the bonus coin, I didn't really have time to say anything there. Now, this is where it gets different actually. This time we, we take control of the barrels, so we get to rotate them with, you know, the D-pad, or the keypad, because I'm playing this on an emulator. And, just do it like that, basically. So, yeah. Let's just take out these sneaks, one by one. It would be better, I think, if they were all lined up, because you know what I was saying? Um, if you roll and hold it down when a lot of enemies are lined up next to each other, you can just roll for all eternity, really, which is really useful. Anyway, that is the last act of the world done. Yeah, I don't know why they're called worlds, because it's clearly not a world, it's a map. Uh, a map. <laughs> it's a land. So, yeah. Anyway. I think we have 100% every level, let me just double check to make sure. So we done Jetty Jitters, we done Minky Mischief, Coral Quarrel, yeah! We appear to because on each one it has an exclamation mark and a DK coin. So I just like to repeat things to make sure you got it in your head in case you have troubles like wondering, oh have I completed that level or not. But anyway, onwards to Bleak Magic. And I know this is going to sound strange, but Bleak Magic... Well, really, his name's just Bleak. Um, from the Game Boy, you think he looks like a person, right? Because of the colours, he looks like he's wearing a tie and everything. Um, he's actually a snowman. <laughs> yeah, he's like an evil snowman in the Donkey Kong universe. He was in um, Donkey Kong Country 3 as well, but it was more like um, you threw snowballs at him from a different perspective. But on this, it's basically you avoid the snowballs that come from his hat, and you throw the barrel at him. Of course it gets a bit more tricky later, so as you can see, he's going lower, and lower, and lower, then he goes back up again, then back up, oh he stopped, and oh my god, <laughs> so make sure you keep an eye out for that bit, or else he could have got you there, so at one point he'll delay, you know, he's ribbon for throwing snowballs, and yeah, Black Forest Plateau we will be going to in the next episode. And I reckon that will do it for this episode. So I'm going to save my game, and I guess I will be out of here. To Wrinkly Refuge. So what have we got? 31%. So a bit higher, but not too much. Anyway, I guess I will see you guys in the next one of Donkey Kong Land 3 for the Game Boy.